you know who you're messing with? Do you know who you're messing with? Are we good up there? Because we're good over here. EC Sports, episode uh, 64. 64, really? Warren, is that right? 63. Okay. Three. Right. Um, we got moved inside into the yeah, den. And now the sun's popping out. Mm -hmm. of, of course it is, because that's that how it is, <laughs> is the, on the, uh, uh, the Dion estate. Yeah. Yes, we're in the... Uh, you know, no, we're right above the chapel. If you hear any rustling of iron, that's the horses uh, getting prepared to cool. move. I didn't realize you got the uh, elevator installed. That's yes, very we nice have of an you. Elevator to Handicapped equipped. That's very course. nice of you to, to be to uh, that certified. But yeah, man, I mean, we're recording what? On a Saturday? You know, we thought it'd be a little uh, slower, but we got a little bit of breaking news. Um, NFL season is here. We've done our fantasy draft. We're going to jump into that. But big, big, big news. Big. Uh, Jadavian Clowney requested a trade to the Seahawks. Why do you think? Uh, I mean, because they weren't willing to pay him. They, they, uh, there was murmurings that Bill O'Brien wasn't too high on Clowney now that they saw J.J. Watt come back and have put together a healthy season. Okay. Um, they're like, well, we're not going to pay two D linemen a hundred million dollars. You know, yeah, we have one, we <laughs> the, have one shit. We right, period. Right. This is the NFL. They're, they're not into making super teams. Right. Um, so I think Bill O'Brien, if he was already a JJ guy and if JJ could prove that he could come back, he did Captain America. Right. So he was, he couldn't wait to, uh, Bill, by the way, Bill O'Brien is the GM and the head coach of the Houston Texans. So, um, yeah, aforementioned Bill O'Brien. Right. Um, there is uh, there is talk now that the uh, Seattle GM took him to the cleaners in this uh, clowny trade. Ooh. They ended up moving a third, a linebacker, wow. and a DN. That if we said the names, you wouldn't really know anyway. That's so funny. I wonder how to, that dude, the linebacker and the DN feel. I'm just a linebacker. Yeah. On the D -end? Well, on the EC Sports Show, sure. I mean, <laughs> you, you hop over to ESPN, I'm sure they'll say the names and then you can act like you know them, but we're just going to keep it real with you. You probably don't know who wow. the, you know, backup Seattle uh, linebacker and high end prospect for that team. So. I see Russell Wilson has the S curl going. Well, you know, when you're, you know. When you're the highest paid quarterback? Yeah. And, you know, Top three? already yeah. married, especially to Sierra. He doesn't have to, you know, get anything cut clean or stuff like that. He ain't got to impress nobody. He's got the look. He just needs that. to stand in the background and do the same dance he did in the Kiki Challenge. You remember that? Yes. So, um, it, here's the thing, right? Clowney is with the Seahawks now, but a impact defensive end impacts the game, sure, but the bottom line, you need a lot more than just the impact DM to turn your team from, yeah, you know, yeah. You know, into a wow! Now they're a contender, contender. Do you think this pushes the Seahawks I mean, into contention? The contention? Seahawks are never bad. Never bad, but they're never like, like since their used era. To be. Yeah, right. So it's all about Russell doing what he does on offense. I'm sure he's going to be over, uh, looked at under a microscope because he's getting paid a lot of money. Yeah, and he's married R to Sierra. Rightfully so. And Took him hostage. Uh, we congratulated choose. him for the yeah. bag earlier in the so, season. At the end of the day, Seattle is always going to be known for defense. You add a stellar pro bowler on there, you cannot go wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm interested to see what happens. Um, I'm second-guessing my defensive choice okay. in fantasy, but we'll talk about that later. Yeah, we'll, we'll get into that later, yeah. right? Um, you know, any concerns about Clowney's health? I'm not going to mention the background today. It's like a different... Oh, well, the de well yeah, I was I too mean, focused on your new on elevator, yeah, dog. Elevator. I mean, you don't install an elevator and you want me to focus on the wonderful, you know, or the uh, fire pool. pit. People probably be I, thinking, he's lying, like he's joking. Ha ha, funny, funny. 
I mean, y'all really think I'd be playing. I just I just elaborate. Never yeah. lie, just elaborate. Sometimes I do and then Dion guides guides me back, right? Yeah. Um but that's fine. But like when you talk into the camera and say what you said before show. <clears throat> oh yeah, well, you know, that's before the show. That's on the chopping room yeah, floor. Yeah, yeah. Uh but any concern wait, first of all, Clowney's on a, a franchise tag. Right. Yeah. So how much, you know, but then again, the Seahawks didn't give up enough. Every report out there is saying that the Seahawks fleeced the Texans in. Everybody thought Clowney originally was about to get traded to the Dolphins. And (laughs) what the Dolphins end up doing? Uh, They ended up trading their star blindside left tackle in Laramie Tunsil. Right. Uh, he was highly regarded as one of the best up and coming left tackles in the game. Like top three pick. Right. Right. Well, the only reason why he dropped at Old Miss, remember, oh. his uh, stepdad or his mama's hating boyfriend yep. posted that picture of him with the gas mask. Right. Yes. That was yes. some hating shit. And that, you know, you lose a little bit of money there. Yep. But hey, welcome to the Houston. You're you are going to retire a Texan if you can protect Deshaun Watson. Y'all are now tied for the, hopefully the rest of y'all careers. Who? I'm Tunsil? I'm still on fantasy. Was, no, Deshaun draft? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he, I'd be probably yeah. like top four, top four QB that yeah, way. Yeah, sure. Um, but, um, yeah, that's a good on Bill O'Brien for bringing in somebody to keep him upright because uh, Deshaun Watson led the league in hits last year, and he's already – torn his leg up before he came into Thanks. the league yeah. a little uh banged up so you know good on that but you still got fleeced in the clowny trade anyways um one more football note before we get into our football notes we got to say goodbye to another person on the ec sports show dion <laughs> oh man yeah. this is uh um shout out chris uh Kaysen. he's uh this is oh yeah this is his boy this is his guy. Um, when are we gonna release? We gotta release that show. Soon, it, right? It's up. It's just on private. It's just on really? private. Yeah, yeah. We want you to check it out. Yeah, it's, it's in there. It's in the Where? vault. It's not up. Oh, it's up, up. Oh, it's up, up. On our page. On our page. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I just thought it was I didn't private. Get the word. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I'm only we'll, on the show. We'll put it. We'll put that on the chopping group. <laughs> That's too. good to know. We gotta say goodbye to Andrew Luck. Bye, Andrew. He the decided to say goodbye really nicely, didn't they? Yeah, they they loved it. They ate it up. You know, there was a lot of backlash for their reaction. And to be honest, I felt out some, you know, some whole like material out of the fans. But to be honest, if I was probably four beers in at a uh, hate or, to tie it back, Loco. right? Or, you know, a uh, no, this is a dragonfly fruit right. fairy tale sure. from um, a one coffee company that we won't speak on especially yes. on the ec sports show because we okay. rep different coffee companies on here um, right. <laughs> i i'd feel some type of way if anthony davis decided to say hey i went down with a, a knee injury and i didn't tear anything but i'm kind of sick of rehabbing i'm gonna just retire from the lakers i'd probably be infuriated are you saying that's what he said no i'm that's kind of what andrew emotional. luck did he said it's a mo- emotional right? problem. He said if I ever came to this fork in the road again, I would choose myself. I mean, mm-hmm. you see what Doug Gottlieb said? Yeah, immediately, yeah. immediately. That rotisserized yeah. all over Twitter. Which is an interesting point. I want to know your opinion. That could be a whole different EC Sports show. The whole how do we feel about the mob mentality on social media? Does it suppress individual thoughts? But that might be too deep for the intro We're right way now, too right? Deep for these, right? But yeah, I understand where you're coming. You from. You get it. So Doug Gottlieb got you know under that slander train, and you know that that is what it is. Um, Andrew Luck is now a retired man. He was an architect, ma- architecture major at the University of Stanford. Stanford. If you remember back, he d- could not attend coach training camp because uh, as early as he could have because he had to t- finish his final to graduate with his bachelor's, school. right? Very much about school. So check him out. Um, but yeah, I guess he has time to travel the world and spend all the Colts' money since they didn't want to recoup any of that. Calvin Johnson somehow had to give back his money. Or Interesting. Muy interesante how those things try to uh, help out or work out, right? Hmm. Andrew Luck got 
you know, boos from 45 Colts fans at a preseason game, huh. right? And then <laughs> people ran to his defense. Um, who's our other boy? I'm blanking, man. In Detroit, again, that retired early. And uh, Barry Sanders, excuse me, you know. Why is that? Like, dude, you, Detroit, dude. We what do we get out of this? <laughs> City. Speak the truth. Fucking Speak lying. the truth. Yeah. Well, you know, must be, when Barry played and when Keith Calvin stuff. Johnson played, you know. How many people do say, you know what? I'm going to take a trip to Detroit. Yeah. I'm going to sign. Unless you go into a game or to buy a car. Yeah. The hell are you going <laughs> right. to Detroit for? Well, you know, they got uh, they got good history. They got eight miles. You, we'll see what him and you know, you know, Motown, yeah. baby. You know, you know how it is up there. That's terrible. Right. right. So, you know. You know the the so Pistons. They had a whole block, just four strip clubs, just one block. Wow, that you know. Yeah. I wouldn't say we need to take an EC Sports uh, field trip, but yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah. Uh, we're gonna have to say goodbye to Andrew Luck. Uh, whoever was going to draft him, Dion sent out the message right before. Uh, yeah, he's not available anymore. Um, so goodbye, Andrew. But um, hello. You know, moving on to our our main event. Fantasy football is here. We had our draft uh, last weekend, last ah, Sunday. We had our draft lottery and the draft mm-hmm. itself. What uh, what was your pick? First of all, uh, wonderful uh, introductions uh, by Dion's <laughs> lovely daughter. Um, we we have those clips obviously saved, right? Yes, so absolutely. we'll get we'll get those clips thrown mm-hmm. on there, um, doing the uh, uh, doing the reveal. But yeah. Um, I kind of got screwed, so I'm not too pleased with the the draft drawer this year. You know, I'm going to have to have a conversation with her about, you know, did she not receive the deposit I sent her? <laughs> because I was the uh, seventh pick in the Whoa. draft. You know, um, I wasn't trying to do a whole frozen envelope thing, but I just wanted her to understand that this money for Capri Suns <laughs> and Fruit Snacks should have been Capri for the Suns number one uh, pick. Uh, anyways... Uh, Dion, what did you think of your uh, your draft drawing, your position, um, and your uh, your team? I talked to her after the pull. Mm-hmm. Uh, I believe I was five. I was right in the middle, so I didn't have to wait too long. I didn't I'd have to, uh, you know, go too quick, however right. you want to put it. Mm-hmm. But I that's always good I not to go too quick. Been interested in a ladder pick it's in a, a life snake lesson. draft. Because when you're in a snake draft, mm-hmm. you're two in a row. And Danny was not that everybody's going to be that bum. But Everybody Danny keeps talking was about last. Danny. I'm getting so know, sick of I stuff going Danny's way. He ended up with the Number fir- one first pick in the draft. Um, the post results graded him pretty favorably. We'll throw those up there on the projected. Project. And we all know what projections and ESPN fantasy mean. I just, I just find it uh, funny. I know your team is trash. Well, oh. All right. The projections are listed. Warren, you in fantasy football? <laughs> you playing this year? You trying to talk shit? No, I'm trying to figure all out right, whose team is trash. The projections are on the screen right yeah. here. Yeah. It says uh, Drew, the newcomer, mm-hmm. is number one. I Shout don't see out Drew. how. Las Vegas, uh, that's Danny. <laughs> uh, the Wiener Circle, D'Amato, but he's going down. Yeah, Mr. Auto Draft. Looks like a, yeah, what is that? Three, four. Yeah, he dropped from three to four. I don't know how you can drop and stay. I don't know what you have done since you drafted. Mr. <laughs> Wally World, that's my guy Gino. He is the one that got me out of the playoffs last year, so I'm looking forward to whooping his ass. Then there I am at number five. Right. And rolling up the end a barely in the playoffs. It's like a 5.1. Barely in the playoffs. 5.1. Barely in the playoffs. All you got to do is guy. get in. All you got to do is get in. So What's it's your name again? Northwest Ricky Lake, baby. So you're you going to come. You're going to come to our home field. We're going to have a conversation. All of a sudden, you're going to leave broken and shook you're up. And just my what son, happened? Yeah. Michael Tuesday. Who is projected? 
seven right behind you. But if he's gonna win, I got him in the first game against you. That you can and have whatever you, back. you want. I will not gamble with minors. I think that is Bro, immoral yeah. and unlawful. You're with a minor now. He's no, what are you talking about? No, no, out. Dylan. He supplied you know Pringles okay. into the pot, yeah, $50 right? Pringles. Right. Right, you know, because, okay. you know, the FCC, they don't need their check. Oh, I, got, I got the number one guy first week. Ooh, yeah, yeah, so we're going to so we see where you at, right? Bro, he's got um, Why don't you take me through? Who are you most excited about on your team? Show the people your team. Tell the people your team. I got Le'Veon Bell. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, because he played a lot last year. Um, going with Drew. Drew won't ever let you down. My league, people, is a lot different than your normal uh, PPR or head-to-head. I give bonuses, right? Mm-hmm. So if you throw for 300 yards, I think you should get some points for that. This is like the, XS, the X, XFL. Oh, DM really? Put wow. together a You're fantasy. Bash Vince's league, huh? No, I'm lifting it up. That. Wow. W- what is your quarterback projected as far as points? Just to give the people a little uh, taste it of. It doesn't say. It does say. Uh, nope, sure doesn't. Yeah, what you got going yeah, on? What's, I, what's your I'm little setup up, going pal. on? What's your little setup yeah, going on right well, now? There um, it is. Like I got, he's projected at forty-seven. Which the forty, is you projected forty-seven oh, points. Le'Veon is projected for sixteen, right, which it sounds Ornette about is right. Projected more than Le'Veon. So there are. They're playing Buffalo. According according to the League of EC Sports Fantasy, um, if you have a quarterback that knows how to rack up the yards and the tutties, you will be rewarded. What about I got the best tight end in the league? Oh, I do. Zach Ertz, Mr. Eight Receptions. Ain't here. nobody going to – I know y'all at home want to know where the pause button is. Dion just went, you know, skippity doo dot skippity day yeah. right past that one and said, who got the best tight end in the league? <laughs> uh, Leonard Fournette. I got Michael Thomas, best wide receiver in the league, obviously. Can we – can I just hear – I just want – can I just hear you just admit that you are unsure if Leonard Fournette likes football? I you can be talented and not. I, he you know can why? Be, because I have Sony Michelle at the flex. There we go. I, we like that. We like the depth there. Hey, I'm just saying. Yeah. Pat, uh, Mr. Lindsey in Denver, he had a very good year at the end last year. And then let's see what Jordan Howard does. He didn't do anything here, but Philly may need him. And then you know, I got a few extra options. Everyone uh, else. Mr. Roethlisberger might be starting. That's what I'm saying. There's a difference. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, so Mr. Roethlisberger is projected at 51, so I might throw him in there. Okay, Big Ben with a big performance. Yeah. All right, now let's let's move on to the the monsters. Oh, on to gosh. the uh, nah, 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 nah. starting at quarterback for the Northwest, Ricky Lake. Baker Mayfield projected 43 points, and that's just on the conservative <laughs> side. That's just because you know oh, he going God. up against. Tennessee, which is a top five to seven defense in the league, are we going to show you what the Baker Mayfield show is going to be all about this year, right? Speaking of the Baker Mayfield show, when he's not throwing for the tutties, he's going to be handing it off to Nick Chubb. Oh, yeah, I got the duo, baby. I got the battery ram of Baker Mayfield, Nick Chubb. We're going to be taking over for the 99 and the 2000. So remember that. Then we're going to bring up, we got, um, you know, we got Damian Williams, who... He is going to be the Kareem Hunt replacement. The Kareem Hunt replacement. Y'all heard it here. Oh, if you're big on your gosh. fantasy, you know you know people sliding him in right there, going as early as round four, late as round five to six, depending on where you're at, right? Okay. So we're, we're looking good on him in, um, in the offense. Then I had Josh Gordon. Yeah. We go top. About the strength of the team, dog. Here we go. This is where we get disrespectful. We got DeAndre Hopkins <sighs> as our wide receiver oh, one. Sorry. You know who our wide receiver two is? Devontae Adams. You're thinking, wait a second. Ooh. How the hell did you do the you know, Hopkins and then Adams? How'd you get both of them? I'm just as confused as the rest of y'all how I went and landed you were the two seventh pick, w- number one wide receivers you were the in pick, our bro. eighteen league. You were the and I went and pick. grabbed. Some big time ballers. It's a snake who draft. Went, man, I just oh hope you are not under that hailstorm when both yeah, of them snap like on the same week because it's going to be barbecue. Barbecue. Uh, baker, baker, money maker, man. You better recognize the drip. Barbecue chicken. Recognize the drip. Get your ass. Then 
I got one of the best tight ends in the league. Forget that. I have the best tight end in the league. I, I, okay, I guess I'll do my own pause on that one. I do. I have George Kittle, who, with broken quarterbacks last year, was still a top five uh, tight end. I'm the best. We're going to finish it up. Robert Woods is our flex. Where are they doing that at? Where are they doing that at? Robert Woods is a wide receiver, too. Where are they doing uh, Robert Woods is a flex now? Here's where I separate myself from the rest of the league, from the rest of the EC Sports Fantasy League. My backups, Josh Jacobs, is my backup running back. He's not even starting. Then, David Montgomery is my second backup running back. Here's what I've been trying to tell Dion, and I just pray uh, that he will not fall to this trap. Uh, Somebody's going to be begging and crawling to me saying, please, sir, please ooh. spare me a running back. Just one running back from your bench. I will be having people in, in, the, in graveyards. You are projected six. You are barely in the playoffs. That's stop. Bro. That is that is fabricated and often over exaggerated. I'm whooping your boy ass the first week. That's Who for sure? Oh, Mr. Number One. That that's fine, Drew. You know, I'm I do not I'm not I don't want the smoke necessarily right now. I'm trying to keep the doors open. Let me know about uh your fantasy philosophy with our last yeah. minute here. Are you a uh, are you a man that likes to make trades? I I like to do trades. I am very active in the waiver wire it's all about your knowledge of the game obviously with the waiver wire you have to suck i'm not going to so therefore teams like yourself and uh damato are gonna have to you know scrounge around like shrimp in the water at what position would i scrounge around Okay. At what position? All right, number six. I, am I Uno, sp- dos, tres, cinco, seis. I, Yo, boom, man. All right. Uh, what do you got now? Are you still looking at your team? No, I'm just looking at a, a fabricated story of, from Brian Windhorse about how Greg Popovich and Team USA teammates, teammates see something in Donovan Mitchell. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. Moving on. Um, yeah. Finally. What the fuck does that mean? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. But what I want to know, Dion. It's my name. Why? Bloomingdale Ballheads, Zach. Is Dwight Howard uh, back on the Lakers? I told you, bro. I told you. But you said you had an uh, epiphany as to why. So why don't you Dion. share it? Why don't you share it, man? I'm sorry, you'd rather have Spencer Hawes. <laughs> Correct? Okay. Still waiting. Man, why did you have to bring it up? Why did you, <laughs> about four, three I episodes you, ago, bro. have to bring up the name? You know I if you said, say the name more than three I times in a three-hour span, you have not. Hey, hey. Fun fact, look what I saw on the internet the other day. Did you see there was an article about if Dwight Howard was a Hall of Famer? Let's talk about that. I remember that show. And Hocus Pocus, snap your fingers three times later, Dwight Howard's a Laker. I'm, I went on a rant. You remember the tweet he sent when he uh, left? Yeah, I hope I get another chance. <laughs> no, he did. What when? is with this? When what Kobe is called him soft? What is with this? No, no, this this is his. He right. got what, he what got are, his what wish. What are your options? Spencer Hawes, Nene. Who else did you throw out on Twitter? Gortat. Um. Um. Kenneth Fareed. Um, bro. Kenneth Fareed. Bomb. Bomb. Me or you? Bomb. Exactly. That's who could have went. Dwight, you know what his last game healthy? The stats. Sure you saw it. 25 and 18. He still got it. Just watch. That's all I'm saying, man. Be happy. This is your team. You got Dwight. You got AD. You got the King. And then two other bums. Doesn't matter. 
Did you see Lonzo? <laughs> you saw you saw mixtape Zo. Yeah, you saw mixtape Zo, dude. What um? But I mean, I didn't listen to any uh, of that. I will not oh, partake. You didn't get the album? No, no, no. Off of that piff, I stopped downloading that piff mixtapes. In um, probably what more in 2015, 2014, we stopped downloading that piff tapes. Like not to Never say lost. that that piff's not a good website. It just kind of like I don't know. I you know I can Mind I can wire? afford uh, Apple Music, right? Or I went. <laughs> Right. Yeah, I just you're right. I just want to get I just want to get legitimate, right? I'm tired of downloading zip files and uploading MP3 ah. files onto an iPhone that don't play well as much. But anyways, um yeah, no. I mean, I didn't really take that as a diss that Joe uh that Lonzo said that he's going to prove LA wrong. Like that's yeah. what you're supposed, what you're supposed to, to, to say. You're supposed to say, "Uh, man, why they do that?" Yeah. To me? Like, what is this? This ain't going to be a Jodeci oh, song. Man. This ain't going to be a I don't wanna No, that's an Eric B, right? What the fuck boy name is uh, John B. That's a John B song. Whoa. If you're playing me, no. keeping on the low. It's not John B, bro. Watch, 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 watch. I'm probably under dating myself. It's wow. me showing my youth. They don't know it's John B. That was his only song. Think about it, man. Oh, you're Googling? Go ahead. It was, uh, I already know it was a bad boy group. Oh, oh, it's, it's Mario Williams. Well, Mario Winans. Winans. Stevie J directed or produced. I don't understand why it says song by Maroon 5. I don't know, but that's Mario Winans, bro. Okay. Diddy. Well, Stevie J behind I'm done that. trying to reference yeah. your generation of music. Okay. I'm sick of this. Yeah, I'm sorry. We pop up at the party. I'm with the gang. <laughs> um, What's in that cup? This is a uh, dragonfly berry fruit oh. juice from that one company that we're not going to give yeah, any love to gotcha. on here. Um, but it's uh, it's high quality H2O. Um, oh, dude, I just I just need to know if oh. since you're you're I need to know. Let's do some let's do some truth serum right now. Okay. If you had to say one weakness on your team, fantasy, fantasy, I would say quarterback. Quarterback, because they're 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 at that age where it's like they're either going to be themselves or they're just going to be injury prone. Mm -hmm. I have two old quarterbacks, but as always in every fantasy league, one quarterback jumps out of the blue. I had Fitzpatrick for two weeks last year, and he won me games. Two two weeks during the right time. During the right time. The the chest hair. Because ain't nobody had him from week one. Chest hair time. Ain't nobody had Fitzpatrick from week one. Chest hair. Time. When he was borrowing Nobody. Deshaun Jackson's clothes? Yeah. Okay. And then Jimmy Garoppolo was out. I mean, there's a lot of options, but you asked my weakness. Mm-hmm. What's yours? Um, I the would probably team? say... <laughs> um, I don't really have a weakness. Looking at my squad, I'm not even going to lie to you. I My squad is so deep. You know what? Like Here, you know what my weakness is? You know what my weakness is? Uh, my team is too deep. That's my weakness. I have too many players I can put in. Watch, watch, watch. Let me tie it back together. Watch, watch me tie it back together. I am so deep, I don't know who to play at running back. Right? That, that's a good pause opportunity. Um, even with the running back tied together to that sentence. But um, for fantasy football, you know, Nick Chubb, mini pause, um, and I, we got to figure out what Damian ah. Williams is about. Yeah. If he's not really about anything, I'm trying to shift through, uh, sift through uh, Jacob, uh, or what's the fucking name? Jacobs from um, uh, Oakland, Josh Jacobs, and then David Montgomery. David Montgomery is going you to be supplanted really by uh, Tariq Cohen. I don't know, right? If the Bears say they're really high oh, on him, yeah. and if they, they say are. they are, I got to trade Josh. I mean, I'm sorry, Jordan Howard. Right. Who you have. Right. So he's on a revenge tour yes. all 2019. And, and David Montgomery is, hey, you the prize pig. And right after a, a former prize pig in Tariq Cohen. Bear, still nine and seven. Uh, projected this year. Uh, I don't think it would shift too much unless there was like an injury and unless something like, oh, I don't know, Andrew Luck retiring in your division. I bet the uh, excuse me. I bet the Texans picked up a couple of oh, wins. You know what I'm saying? No, like okay. that that would be the only result of your line moving too much. Uh, okay. Someone leaving out or uh, 
you know, Bears have a tough one. The best quarterback in your division uh, leaving, but we the, shall see. Man, the Bears already have a tough schedule. Very hard. Picking up wins is going to be if if uh, this 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 uh, this episode brought to you by pause. You're familiar with mm. the remotes. Um, Did you see that pause with the White Howard and the dude with the hair? When isn't a, a pause moment with Dwight? Am I just going to have to get used to this? Like, keep yeah. going with Dwight? Number 39. Number 39. Nobody in the history Forever of the Lakers has ever worn that number. Meta wore 37? Yes. And that just goes to show as far Robin as craziness wore 73. Levels. Do you know why? Do I know why Robin wore 73? Yes. Um, that's how many times he's had to have um, reconstructive surgery. No. His favorite number he wore in Detroit is 10, so he just wore numbers, i.e. with the Bulls, 91, to equal 10. All right. Cool. That's probably, the most, fact. That's probably the most logical thing I've heard about Dennis yes, Robin. Barry. That those numbers added up to it. So um, They got a movie coming up. Soon, I think. On Dennis Rodman? Yes. Not that ghetto after school network shit. They have a really good one coming out. Looking uh, forward to seeing it. HBO needs to pick that up. Uh, last few notes. Hard Knocks oh, kind of took a, a dip in entertainment yeah. level. I it's, didn't see this past week. You're not really missing much. It's yeah. like, how many weeks in a row can John Gruden be the hero yeah. and carry the episode? Like, I get it. I love his personality, his they, humor. They should have went elsewhere. Can I, can, I get a, can I get a knock on wood? Then I mean I think Caliendo coming in was pretty funny. That was funny. Uh, but then it was just like sure. All right. Once the whole AB helmet thing, unless yeah. AB like literally the decided to say like, AB is here. I'm never coming back. They they spent four minutes on slow mo. Yeah, like that that means you're trying to fill up time. Seeing him pull up and all of that, but, but we know. Um, next week, you know, we'll be back uh, normal schedule time. I was actually texted mm -hmm. because uh, people are missing us on live. Oh, we need to get back live. Yeah. Let's get back live. So probably we'll get back live then. next week. We got we got multiple cameras now. Yeah. We can get it in. Um, pause. For Rick, That's get me. it in. This Mr. Pause. Mr. Four Loco. For Dion. Uh, Dion. Easy Sports. Dragon Fruit. Peace.